Hi and welcome back. In this channel what I like to talk about is my Harley Davidson motorbike and in particular upgrades, uh, ride outs and uh, social events that I go on to as well. Um, tonight I actually want to talk about motorcycle helmets and in particular what is the best motorcycle helmet to go for. So um, let's get into the video. Okay, so this was the first helmet that I uh, that I went for, uh, which is um, by a company called uh, Ducini, and this is the D606, I think it was, um, which has a weight of 1,880 grams. So it's quite a lightweight um, crash helmet, um, and the reason I went for this is because I liked um, the flip open front. Um, a lot of places that you go into in the UK now, they don't particularly like um, bikers in with crash helmets on and they like you to remove the crash helmet, but these obviously lift up front and enable you to sort of have good visibility from inside and be able to communicate whilst you're um, making purchases, filling up fuel and that kind of thing. Um, so that was the reason why that I went for, for this um, kind of lift up um, front. Um, it's quite a, it was quite a nice crash helmet, it's got some um, open vents um, to the front and you've got two open vents at the top as well and then you've got a, an airflow at the back here to allow the air to, uh, to stream through the helmet to keep you nice and cool uh, when you're riding. Um, it's got a, a shield at the bottom here which is a wind deflector so as the wind um, cuts up through it doesn't come into the visor um, it actually flows out. Uh, you've got a single release button at the front here which then nice and easy lifts that back um, you've also got inside um, the uh, smoke screen as well, the um, windscreen, um, the sunscreen visor, um, which flips in that not nice and uh, nice and easy. Uh, you can do that quite comfortably as you're as you're riding without any problems at all. Um, and obviously then you've got the clear screen, uh, which you've got the normal one, um, lift up visor screen as well. Um, so I liked um, I liked that crash helmet. It was um, it was a nice lightweight helmet. It was a little bit wind noisy, if I'm honest with you. It, it has got a nice aerodynamic design. It's um, an ABS um, synthetic um, crash helmet. Um, it has got, say, it has got a nice um, flowing design at the back of the helmet, so the air is effectively supposed to um, come around. But I found that I was getting quite a lot of wind noise uh, when I was riding with that particular helmet. Um, particularly, um, obviously, when you're trying to use intercoms and that kind of thing. So. Yeah, but all in all, I think it was a really good helmet. It's a really nice, uh, nice helmet to start off with. Um, but then I changed, and I wanted to go up to a slightly better helmet. I think this came in around about 150 pounds. I paid for it, um, but I wanted to go for a slightly better crash helmet. So um, within about uh, a year, year and a bit, I then upgraded and went to uh, a new one. And let's show you what the new one was. Okay, so this uh, particular crash helmet is um, from a company called um, Shui. Um, this is the Shui um, NXR helmet, and I um, I really like um, this uh, this particular crash helmet. Um, it is much lighter than the uh, Ducini that we saw first of all. This only comes in at um, 1,350 grams, so this is a really lightweight crash helmet. Again, you've got some um, covering to the front here to allow that wind uh, to uh, to flow underneath the crash helmet. Um, you do have two D clips here to um, hold the strap in place, which I found that a little bit fiddly to be honest. I much preferred that belt buckle that we had on the Ducini. If that had been fitted onto here, I think the release of this helmet would have been a lot better. Um, you have got a lot of red tags um, here, these are the uh, quick release emergency tags, so the inner part actually comes away from the outer part of the crash helmet, um, which is a really nice safety feature. Um, if you uh, have the uh, misfortune of coming off your bike, then at least they can remove your crash helmets um, with ease. One of the things that I did like about this um, NXR was the, the visor. It does come with the clear um, visor as a standard fit, um, but I upgraded um, the visor to a reactor light visor. Um, so this actually reacts with the sunlight. Uh, when you're driving in the daytime, you obviously want to be able to have a nice uh, smoke front um, and then at night time when the sun goes down then that becomes clear again so it aims for really good um, visibility. This uh, helmet was was really good, really lightweight, um, nice flowing helmet um, but um, 
all in all, it's a, it's a very nice, uh, very nice crash helmet. As I say, it's really lightweight helmet. Um, I think this was about three hundred and seventy pounds, somewhere like that. The um, Reactor Light um, lens um, on the front that's worth about another hundred and fifty pounds on top, buying that separate. Um, so it's quite a, an expensive crash helmet altogether, um, but a really nice helmet to go for. And you know, on a sports bike, that kind of thing, then. I would certainly recommend this this crash helmet. It's um, it's, a, it's a lovely crash helmet from Shui. Okay, so when I bought the Harley Davidson, I decided that I wanted to go for a more open face and crash helmet, but I wasn't sure what style and what make and what I wanted. Whether it was like a full face open, whether it was a flip open. So I decided not to spend a great deal of money. Um, this particular crash helmet from Held was only seventy nine pounds that you actually get what you pay for is absolutely right. Um, this is a, a really cheap crash helmet and it is within its quality as well. Um, the paddings to the side here are, are quite solid. Um, there's not a great deal of sponginess uh, in the side here so the fit of the helmet on, onto the head was, uh, was quite tight. And I actually had a medium, I normally wear a small crash helmet but I actually went up to a medium on this particular one. Um, and even that was um, still felt a bit too tight on, on the on the head. In particular, when I'm trying to pull the crash helmet on, um, I was finding that my um, ears were getting stuck. The lining um, in the center, the lining in the center here was uh, kept um, curling up all the time, and it was getting trapped within my ear, pulling the ear down. I'm a rider that has to wear glasses because of my vision and wearing um, glasses I couldn't actually get the glasses into the side here um, and push them across my head properly they were kind of um, sticking up on the top of the, the, the ear not actually curving behind the ear which made it really uncomfortable and in particular on long rides when I was going out for um, two hours or three hours four hours on the bike it was really uncomfortable um, it was to have a nice big open face um, which was great but it just wasn't the crash helmet for me um, so this is probably one that I regret spending money on I did actually buy two of these because the, the wife had one as well so um, about £180 somewhere like that for, for the uh, for the two helmets so I did waste my money on this one but you know as I say you, you get what you pay for so don't go for a cheap crash helmet go for um, a more expensive, better quality crash helmet, that's, that's all I can say. So let's um, show you the crash helmets that we have gone for, which I have to say are probably one of the best crash helmets that, that, I've, that I've owned. So let's show you that one. Okay, so this is the helmet that, uh, that I own now, um, which um, this is by a company called um, Shark, um, and I think that this is a brilliant, brilliant crash helmet. So, there she is. So this is the, the Shark, and this is the um, Evo Line 3, the Series 3, which is the latest one that they, uh, they've done. Um, it is a lot lighter than the previous um, version. Um, this is um, 1,700 grams. Um, so it is, um, it is quite, a, quite a lightweight crash helmet in comparison to some of the others. What I like about this um, particular crash helmet is the actual flip front. Um, so push it in, bring the helmet forward, and then that clips right to the very back, and it stays to the back there, and it gives you that open face front that you actually want, um, with um, the visor in the upright position, you can drop the visor down, so we can bring the microphone up, so the microphone then doesn't get um, too much uh, wind noise into there, it's really good for um, when we're communicating with each other on the bike. Um, you have also got um, the flip down um, visor front as well so you've got that sun shield that you can uh, have with the crash helmet open and then you've got the sun visor shield in there and then bringing the lid back forward um, just a case of clicking it back dropping it down obviously the visor this has to be up first of all goes down into position and then just clicks back again and then the screen comes back down the front so that's really easy to do um, and it fits so snug so comfortable um, it does have extra padding to the side you've got extra padding in the roof piece i have got the buckle in there as well um, for the nice release mechanism when you're putting the crash helmet on 
uh, just simply pushing. You can adjust that uh, as well. You don't have to close it all the way in. You can have it um, out, and then you can put it closer to give it that adjustment. So you have got some adjustment there as well. Um, and it fits all the intercom systems in there nice and smoothly. Like the fact there were some pads inside, they just peeled away, drop the ear pieces in, put the pad over the top, and it sits nice and comfortably there um, around by the ear. So um, it doesn't, you don't have any problems at all. Um, it's nice to, to slide on and slide off. Um, you've got a load of vents on here as well. We've got some front vents um, here that uh, you can open up and to allow for air to flow through and you can close that vent up um, you've got more vents at the top here which you can open and close um, and then you've got a nice um, back flow inside and I do actually like uh, the design of that um, of this crash helmet as well um, with the skull um, that sits into here is really nice it's a really nice design um, when you pull that it comes forward and you flick it over in the open position the design then still follows through as well so that's um, I think that's really nice as well it's a really nice touch but yeah so um, this um, shark um, I'm loving this uh, this crash helmet um, you do have a little bit of the back here but that doesn't really affect too much on the aerodynamics um, even with the helmet open then it's a nice flow with the aerodynamics to the uh, to the back of the, uh, the helmet um, so I'm liking this crash helmet, and this came in around about the sort of £300 um, figure. Um, we do have two of the matching uh, pair of these helmets, um, so uh, yeah, this shark helmet is absolutely fantastic, so uh, grab yourself one of these. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching, we've gone through quite a lot of crash helmets uh, this evening. Um, whether you want to go for a, um, a full face helmet or an open face helmet or a flip top helmet it doesn't really matter the choice is is your choice what is um, best fit for you I certainly like that um, shark helmet and that um, really fits all of my needs um, the latest one has got the cutouts for the glasses to fit straight into the side of my head so they, they fit really well and I do like that full um, lift over front. I think it's, it's a really nice crash helmet. But I say, it's all about personal choice and it's what is um, best for your choice. The only bit of advice I will give you is don't go for a cheap crash helmet. Go for a good quality within your budget, but certainly don't go for a, a, a cheap helmet. It, it, it's, n it's not worth it. Um, your safety is absolutely paramount. So um, yeah, if you like the video, then uh, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. Remember, ride safe. Thanks then. Bye-bye.